Hello YouTube, Bushido Maru here and I've got a new video for you for Woodering Waves. Um, the patch notes for 1.1 just came out. Uh, I went through them half an hour ago. I highlighted the most important things. That's the new um, couple of champions we're getting. Um, there's some interesting stuff going on. So I highly suggest we just straight jump to the video and talk about the highlights. Some exciting updates are coming and we finally got those news. Dear Rover, to give you a sneak peek into what uh, we have in store for you in future updates, we'll share the latest adjustments we're making to the game in, uh, via a uh, developer's message. Before each new version uh, launch, we'll also use these messages to address common issues uh, with the current version and share details on related optimizations and adjustments. Basically, a patch note. This is what a patch note is. You guys are doing it correctly. Nice. Watering Waves uh, version 1.1 uh, doll of um, Eons is right uh, around the corner. Here's what to expect in the new version. Just give me a second to um, turn off the volume of the game. Excuse me. Um, new tuner uh, synthesis future. To address the issue of lower grade tuners, the purple ones, um, let me actually make this a little bit better so you can also read it. Um, over there um they're basically adding um an exchange option and this exchange option for you is uh basically yeah you can exchange your lower grade ones to higher grade ones uh, to address this the lower grade to peeling uh up in your backpack during the late game we will introduce the tuner synthesis future in 1.1 uh, with the future you will be able to synthesize a certain number of medium advanced tuners into higher grade tuners using synthesizer Great stuff. Increase Union EXP reward for unlocking new Echo entries. Do the leveling uh, experience and unlock the, the late game content. Earlier for all players, we have introduced Union EXP reward for unlocking new entries off Echoes um, as of version 1.1. This is good. This is good news. Um, if you're a lower level and you grind for Echoes, uh, you know, and you're in a hurry to grind for echoes you'll be getting experience additionally we will uh, re retrospectively reward the union exp for the number of echoes entries you have unlocked during 1.0 that's great for people that already are in the late game and they have been basically grinding tons of echoes and they'll receive a lot of experience on the go Higher cost range for Echoes rewarded for activity points. We've heard your feedback about the high vari uh, variability in the cost range of Echo rewarded by gaining required activity points in Guidebook. To improve your experience, we have removed cost 1 Echoes from the activity points reward pool. Now only cost 3, 4 will be rewarded as for activity points. Good stuff. Uh, after the version 1.1 update, uh, once you accumulate 100 activity points by completing the guidebook tasks, uh, you will receive a random echo of cost 3 or 4 quality, which is also great. Data bank level cap increase. This is huge. This is um, basically giving us, um, you know, more to grind for late game. After the version 1.1 update, the level cap for the data bank will be raised to level 21. Well... They're raising it, but just a little bit. <laughs> um, after reaching level 21, all echoes dropped will be guaranteed to be five star rarity, which is also good news. Uh, new fun uh, mount uh, firmament echo transformation. Um, is this going to be a skill or, or not? I don't know, um, but it looks fun. Other optimizations uh, remove tacit field reward collection animation. You may now collect the reward directly. I don't care that much about stuff like this. Lowered shell credit cost for echo leveling. Uh, simplified the cruise wing challenge we have. Slowed down the flying speed of the cruise wing and extended the uh, time limit to make the challenge more manageable. I don't also think that this is uh, super, super important. Uh, events and other re rewards. New depths. Um, of Illusion of Realm content, dreams ablaze in darkness with raised event rewards. 
In version 1.1, we will be introducing a new Depths of River event called Dreams of Blaze in Darkness, along with the mechanics such as tokens, symphony rank, and different memetic uh, tunic avail uh, available for you to create your own powerful build. Furthermore, the total event rewards will be increased to 1k asteroids. Well, well, good stuff. We, we will be able to get 1k asteroids. Uh, new area exploration event mount uh firmament area events so for the new zone that they're introducing they're also adding a couple of events for us to take advantage of while we're exploring the new event which is also great basically they're gonna give us uh in this exploration event 800 asteroids premium resonance potions premium seal tubes and more stuff so basically just the moment 1.1 hits you go to the new zone you do your events and you get your reward Increase convene item version exchange limit in, in the item exchange um, store. As of version 1.1, you may redeem up to seven of each of the following convene items, radiant tides, uh, forging tides, and lustrous tides um, in each installment of the store. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, preview of other special events. Besides the opt uh, optimization, uh, Optimization uh, and tweaks mentioned above, version 1.1 is also bringing a bunch of other cool events your way. Um, the seven day login rewards, Gift of Celestial Light, the Future Commission event, Lolo Campaign, the Future uh, co Combat event, Tactical, the Leveling Material Double Drop event. Oh, that's cool. Leveling Material dro Double Drop event. And this is huge. The, dub the Echo Double Drop event. This is this is gonna be super cool um, for your, for those of you who are gonna be grinding like I will. Echoes. Uh, stay tuned for our official announcements for more event and details. Map exploration. So in the new zone, there will be a few layers, so a few zones, and they added those where you can just simply click and and read those and check what's up. Um, I mean, see the levels in the UI. Uh, this is good stuff. I'm not gonna read. Um, this over here new area quest progress after version 1.1 update you will be able to track your progress on exploration quests for the current area via map exploration progress so basically you'll be able to see where you are at in your exploration expanded detection range for loot mapper uh, to make it easier for players to track and find uh, undiscovered supply chests nearby uh, nearby on the map we will be expanding the detection range of loot mapper after 1.1 uh, you can use and deploy the loot mapper through the utility wheel to search for nearby supply chests, which is also pretty cool. Uh, quest and gallery system. Um, new resonator gallery future. After 1.1, you, you can check all the resonators you have unlocked and their unlocked time uh, in gallery, um, crossing stars, new story dialogue future blah 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 i don't care about those things those are just some small updates and changes if you guys care about them just i don't know let me know in the comments that you care about them i don't <laughs> level requirements lowered for some main quests this is you know a speed boost for you to go through the main story basically for those of you who are making new accounts or are new to the game uh, to unlock uh, the late game content early for all players, we will lower the uh, leveling requir level requirements for the main quests after version 1.1. Basically, from um, the requirements to unlock main quest chapter 1, Act 4, Clashing Blades, will be lowered from Union 14 to Union level 11. Basically, they're saving you uh, maybe an hour or two of side quests and, and stuff like that. Main quest chapter 1, act 5 and act 6 will become available once the preceding chapter's quests are in, are completed. So the next basically the next parts are going to be available the moment you um completed the previous one, which is also a good bonus you don't have to you don't have to do that many side quests anymore. Uh, more number and types of guidebook activity points quests. We've heard your feedback about the limited ways to earn guidebook activity points. So with 1.1 update, we'll increase the variety and number of daily activity points. We hope this changes make the quests more enjoyable for you. Hopefully. Uh, other experience optimizations. New combat style tags. Um, with the version 1.1, we're introducing combat style Packs to categorize the combat mechanics of different resonators. We hope this will help you better understand each resonator's core combat style. 
Um, and here they are uh, showing uh, how this is going to look like. New chat system style to make the chat uh, system easier to use uh, during gameplay. The chat box will be displayed at a half screen uh, high after the version. Um, I don't know. Control mode uh, optimization. Uh, added a new camera adjustment setting for the control mode. You can now invert the horizontal and vertical camera controls under setting controls. This is good stuff. Change the control mode short, uh, shortcut key open chat in now open map. Enable key mapping, remapping for certain buttons on Sony PlayStation controls, making it consistent with the remapping options available for the Xbox controls, which is, you know, also cool stuff for people having controls and playing with them. If you have any feedback or suggestions, let us know basically, and that's pretty much it. Besides the two, the couple of new resonators coming in, those are the updates that they're bringing us to 1.0. Uh, 1.1 at least what they uh told us that this is going to be um it right so um i'm pretty excited about the game i'm pretty excited uh, excited about the updates that are coming in uh let me know in the comments below if you are also excited and if you find this this types of videos and patch reviews uh useful i usually when i play games that on a daily basis that i like and right now woodering waves is my main game that I decided to make content about. I do the patch reviews, so let me know in the comments below if you do enjoy this content. Uh, and if you've watched so far, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.